Walker signed Wisconsin's Manufacturers and Agriculture Tax Credit into law in his first budget. Now that it's phased in, it's all but eliminated the state tax burden for many manufacturers. Speaking to Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce, Walker said he wanted the state to stay the course. If we were to wipe that out, we would be taking out a lot of the growth and prosperity in the state. By the end of this two-year budget, the legislature's nonpartisan budget office estimates the tax credit will have cost state government roughly $1.4 billion. Democratic candidate for governor Tony Evers has called for eliminating the credit and using the money for other expenses like schools. Sean Johnson, Wisconsin Public Radio.